So we're about to start the next day of our trek. I believe it's day nine or eight. I don't know. We're in Nawal right now. We just did the rest day yesterday and we came here the day before yesterday from Kongola Pass. And it was really nice weather the last two days here. And now today, this is what we get. This is going to be pretty rough. I mean, at least it's not actual rain. It's just fog. But the forecast says it might rain. So, it should be a fun day. It's 7 a.m. sharp. And we got a light rain. actually not too bad considering we've already been trekking for a week and this is our first time in the rain so and it's only light but hoping it doesn't get any worse Well, I've resorted to hiking with an umbrella. Probably look like a freaking chump, but I don't trust this plastic bag to keep my backpack from being dry. If everything in my backpack gets wet, it's gonna suck. I have all my clothes in there and my journal and you know, not really any electronics. But even though this is a light rain, since we're gonna be out here for quite a while, I figure it's just best to play it safe and try to keep as dry as possible. So this is gonna be <laughs> the most awkward hiking I've ever done. Trying to carry two freaking poles and an umbrella, and right now my GoPro. <laughs> uh, this is the life though. Not every day can be comfortable and perfect. And I do feel pretty good right now. So, just gotta keep staying positive and keep moving on. I actually have no idea where we're going today. In fact, I don't really know where we're going for any of the next few days. I know we're doing the T Torangla Pass, something like that, I forget the name. But other than that, I don't know, I forget what we're doing. So I'm just uh, following Durba down there and uh, Doing the best I can. You know, I think rain and the clouds and the mist, they're, they're just as beautiful as a clear sky. And I actually like the rain. If I wasn't so concerned with getting my belongings wet, then I personally probably wouldn't mind getting wet. But that's just how we, how we live nowadays, right? We have all our material possessions that's so important to us. If we lived simpler lives, maybe that might just be better. Enjoy the water, enjoy the weather. 
no matter what it is. But that is a lot easier said than done. I, like most people, have been conditioned into the materialist way of life. But at least I get to experience the outdoors a little bit here and there. I really am so glad to be out here. Feels nice. And just like that, the rain has stopped. Mostly. There's still like a itty bitty super tiny sprinkle. It's okay. This is the first time since day two of our trek that there's been a road that people drive on. I believe it was Bessisar to Koto where we took the Jeep. That was the last road that we've been on until today. If you could call this a road, I mean, more like a vehicle accessible trail. I don't know. Check out this statue with a circle of pair wheels around it. Usually I see the prayer wheels in a line. It's pretty cool to have them in a circle like that. All right, Durba. Where are we right now? We are in Mungu. Mungi. 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 It's part of Manang. We are almost close to the Manang. From here to Manang, I guess, 30 minutes. Oh. So, Mungi. We come from Nawa to Mungi. Yes. And today we'll go to Yakarga. Probably it's going to be a long day. And all the way up. T today we go where? Yakarga. 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 Oh. And then tomorrow we. Okay. Tomorrow we'll go to look at for the pass. Oh. And the day after tomorrow we'll do the pass. For the pass. Ah, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> yak curd and yak cheese. It's a local juice from here in Manan. Sibak Tron juice? Yeah. What's it made out of? It's made out of from the plant and the seed. Plant seed and that we have to grow on the bushes. Wow. More sour, 
and some sweet. So oh. then you have a two guests. If you go with the sour, is more sour. And one is sweet. Hmm. Can we try some? It's good for health. It's good for your body. So you can Google it about the corn dog juice. And that's the benefits of the corn dog juice. This is right when you are in Manan. It will be available up here? Uh, I don't know. This is the, not the season for the Dunbok uh, plant seed. Oh. I mean, uh, it's not proof. If the future earlier, then it's possible to get it. Okay, well. We'll see. We will see, yes. Bungi. Yeah? Where we are? Mungi. Yes, Mungi. There's something strange about that old brick structure right next to the telephone pole. <laughs> I think it's kind of weird. Interesting. Nature or culture. Braca Village. Interesting. Almost <laughs> Oh wow. That looks pretty cool up there. I've noticed that the gompas and monasteries are always up high on cliffs, like overlooking the rest, the rest of the village. I wonder if there's any sort of religious significance for that. Now I know the Lamas and Rinpoches and the Dalai Lama, when they sit together with the monks and the lay people in the inside, the Lamas, they sit higher than everyone else. Again, I don't know the significance of that. It must be some something to do with respect or honor. But I'm wondering if the same logic applies to the building itself being above the rest of the area. Makes sense to me. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe they just want to be closer to the sky. Who knows? Maybe it.
my name. Looks like a pretty nice place. Ooh, machine laundry. The Namaste store. I think this is a major stop on the Annapurna circuit, but we are not stopping here. We're just passing through. Good dog. Ooh, wet, dirty dog. Yeah, these places, these places look nice. There's a bank. ATM. It's the first ATM I've seen since Bessie saw it. Namaste. Namaste. Well, I don't know. I don't think there's much more to say since we're not all oh, culture museum, dude. What the heck? I feel like I'm back in civilization. I wonder if it's open. I don't think we would go though. We just like to keep going. No stops. But there's more pair wheels. Always spin clockwise. We just left Nang and we're basically hiking up this creek. And I'm trying really hard not to get my shoes wet, which is actually pretty easy right now, now that I pull the camera out. But back there, it was not so easy. It was a very narrow path. Whew. Wow, look at that. Check it out. We continue our adventure. But let's check out this waterfall first. Short break time. Do you know what 
DIY means? I don't. Where is that place in the distance? Long place, Wunchang. Wunchang. Horses in my way, or maybe I am in their way. Oh, don't kick me. That's interesting. I've never seen a group without, without a person before. I mean, obviously they're they belong to someone because they have the bells, but I guess they're just roaming free right now. It's time for another delicious lunch. Dabat. Dabat power, 24 hours. Correction. We decided it was too early for lunch. So we do not have Dabat. And I do not have Dabat power. Instead, we had tea. And I thought it would be a good idea to eat the biscuits, the coconut biscuits that I bought in Manang. It was not a good idea. I have biscuit power, not dabat power. And biscuit power sucks. My stomach is not feeling well. But I have to push on and keep going. My sweet tooth really gets me in trouble time and time again. And I just don't learn my lesson. It was pretty fast. fire damage. I wonder if this was an intentional one or an accidental one. Or maybe not even a fire. I mean, I don't know, but it sure is. It looks like one. If it is a natural one, I wonder how common it is in this part of the world because it's a lot, a lot less dry than, I don't know, California. Or why not? On our way to Yakkarka, we're looking for food, but the places are closed because it's the off season. And then look at this. Used to be an old guest house or tea house or something. And it got destroyed or tore down, something. I don't know. But we are making our way to Yakkarga. Dabat on our minds. Motivation. Dalbat is like 
a spiritual entity. Before you eat it, it gives you motivation to keep going so you can eat it. And then after you eat it, it gives you power 24 hours. How about power 24 hours? Let's go. Finally, we reached the stopping point. I am trying the Tongbag juice. Cheers. Uh, cheers. <laughs> Taste um, citrusy. How do you find the taste? It's good. It's good. It's, it reminds me of citrus. A little bit. I mean, a bit sweeter. Yeah, pretty good. So, after we had lunch, in Yakkaka, I still wasn't feeling too well, but we decided to push on to Ladar. Anyways, but now I'm feeling better. So again, we decided to push on. We will be headed to low camp today. So that makes Today, a big day. It's already been about seven hours. And we still have another two or three to go. But, like I said, no bad power. I'm good to go. So, here we go. It's a lot sturdier than it looked, that's for sure. This hardly even looks like a mountain. It just looks like a landslide. Like just landslide after landslide. It's crazy. Just take my word for it. All right, <clears throat> we made it to the lower base camp for the Tarang Pass. It's um, a little after 3 o'clock right now, so that means it took us about 8 hours to do this. This is probably our longest day yet, definitely in terms of time, and I think as well as distance. Um, according to my map, it says it's 26 kilometers and like over a thousand meter elevation. I don't know how accurate that is. But um, I actually feel pretty good about it. It was a pretty easy day. And I think that's because I was in a, in a flow state. You know? It's like when the, when the ego completely dissolves and the self thins itself. It's like you're... You're fully engaged, it's virtually effortless, and there's zero self-conscious. That's like what a flow state is. And it's incredible because you just keep walking, you just keep going. 
And it's like, you don't even have to try. But then the moment you start thinking about it, or like the moment I pull out my camera, now I'm a self, now I'm a person. And all these thoughts come back in my head and the pain and the difficulty come back. So flow states are pretty interesting. The thinning of the self and recognizing the ego for what it is, is part of the practice that I try to cultivate in meditation. And it's pretty cool. Apparently it works. If it made eight hours of hiking <clears throat> go by like nothing, even though I was in pain for a bit of that. But that's not really the point of meditation. Anyways, check out my hotel room. Huh. No electricity. Concrete bathroom. Well, it's all right. Just like all the other ones. Which is to say, just die. Once again, we start a new day. Today we go up to the Dharam Pass. And once again, we start the day with some rain. But it was raining harder in the night. It's just barely a sprinkle right now. It's about 5 a.m. So, we go. And here we are at high camp. It took us one hour to get from low camp to high camp, which I think is like 400 meters or so. So I'd say that's pretty good pace. We didn't stop for a break the entire time. Once again, I was in the zone. I was in a flow state. My hands, they're red. They're so cold. The entire time up there, walking up, I, um, every time I would breathe in, I said head. And every time I breathe out, I said hands. So it would go, head, hands, head, hands. I was trying to direct the oxygen to my brain for one thing, but then also trying to direct the oxygen to my hands to heat them up. And this is, this is something that Wim Hof talks about. I might be getting the technique a little bit incorrect, but, um, it seemed to work. I mean, my hands were so cold, but it doesn't bother me. And like I said, we were able to climb 400 meters in an hour without stopping. And I feel good. So now we are going to have tea in here. And it should be nice. Time. Time. How do you get in here? So this is the killer part. Yes. That wasn't the killer part? It's the yeah. continuation of that for three more hours. <laughs> I think. Three hours. That's oh, what my okay. thing says. It's hard to say. Well, three yeah, hours I can. We're on our way up 
from high camp still. It's been drizzling the whole time. My hands, my hands are freezing. I mean, it's not, it's not terrible, but it's pretty rough. The rain has let up a little bit right now. It's a good sign. But there's, there's no views or anything. It's all misty and cloudy and... Oh man. Oh. This is rough. Sometimes you're in the zone and you just go. And other times You just, it sucks. Right now, it kind of sucks. But, oh, that's okay, right? We're, Almost there, apparently. All right, that's the way we came. And we finally made it to Tarangla Pass. It is about 8 a.m., which means it took us about two hours from high camp. You can see all the prayer flags. Oh, and somebody's picture. Interesting. So from low camp in total, it was about three hours. 5,416 meters. That makes this now the highest I've ever been. It's a little bit higher than Kangla Pass was. And man, it's just full of prayer flags. You know, sometimes I often wonder about these. Is this considered litter? Because, I mean, look at all of these. Oh, this is weird. I've never seen these colors before. Anyways, is this litter? Because they just sit up here and deteriorate, don't they? Does anybody ever come up and clean the old flags? I heard, or rather, I read, on packages, if you if you buy the prayer flags, it says that once they fade, you should burn them out of respect, as a as a form of disposal. You should burn them. So I wonder if these flags up here out in the middle of nowhere, if anybody ever comes and burns me. Doesn't look like it, unless they're replaced constantly. But anyways, uh, we made it, and up here, it's all downhill. Congratulations, everybody. You too. Well done. <laughs> Great job. And congratulations as well. We did it. We did it. And we did good pace, didn't we? Yeah, it was a really good pace for us. Good pace. How about you? How do you feel? I feel good. You feel good? The rain and the cold was bothering me at first. But, oh, thank you. But I feel... Better now. Once again, as soon as we're up at the top, man, I feel so good. Body and mind. 
Ah, não, 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 não,